Good morning, folks. Welcome to uh, Florida Chicken Coops. This is my wife's business. Every one of those coops you see, she put every screw and every nail in. We retired from the land clearing business and was going to get some chickens and kind of sit back and relax. And once again, here we go. And now we got a full time job. She builds them and I deliver them. You can see there on the side, these are all of the wood you see on the back of it is kiln dried cypress. It's one inch thick. I'll show you some of it here in a minute. We wanted to build a coop that would last at least 20 years in Florida. These things all have insulated roofs and drip rail around them. All the woods up under the eaves so the rain's not going to get it. Everybody that lives down here knows that you know, the water and the sun and the rain is, is what, you know, ruts, rusts and rots everything. So we wanted to build something that was kind of trouble free. We don't have a floor in there for them to poopy on. They, we put wood shavings in ours and about every two months go in there with a rake and rake it up and put it in the garden. Uh, you can put linoleum floor in there, but you're going to have it on a sheet of plywood, and plywood just not going to make it down here in Florida. It, uh, it's going to rot out on you. We like to, you know, put the insulated roof on there so the birds will stay cool. That's the big thing. You know, in the wintertime, if you're going to get a big cold spell or something, you can just staple some uh, plastic on, a, on the wind side of it and get them out of that wind. We've got a sliding door there on the side. These coops are tall. I'll put the dimensions down in the link down below. But uh, you can walk in and not have to duck down. You can see the front door there. And right here is uh, where the, we've got a string right here that you pull. And it opens that side door. And I'll show you what we do with ours here. And, we just want to, if we want to, you know, go out and go fishing for three days or go running around for three days, we don't uh, want the birds to suffer and we don't want to suffer. We want it nice and, and, and uh, convenient and, and, you know, keep the birds healthy. You can see all this is, is uh, number two prime, pressure treated. The uh, Four by four base and, and, and the post is all severe duty. They make a regular pressure treated lumber and then they make a severe duty for like saltwater docks and stuff like that. We built these where they'll last 20 years. We don't want any, any problem. These are not Chinese replicas or something just to get you money. You know, we're getting pretty old, but we enjoy working. And you can see, look down at the base of these 4x4s and you see the 4x4 brace. That goes all the way through the coops. Good and stout, strong. Like I say, that's cypress down there. All that, that kiln dried cypress is one inch thick. Cypress growed up in the water. <laughs> so we put it costs a lot more to put this stuff on there but if you put plywood on there in two years you're, you're not going to have sides okay and we, we run about a dozen chickens and you can put a dozen boxes in here and they'll all lay in one box that's between I don't tell the chickens how to lay eggs just lay them you know but that box is not on the outside of the coop, it's on the inside, out of the weather. You know, if you put a box on the outside, it's right out there in the rain and the sun. And you, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna fall off in two or three years. See that insulation on there? Like I say, my wife builds these. Every stick and every board that you see, she put together. Not me, and I promise you, you do not want me building anything out of wood. I've got a metal fabrication shop, I can do it. I'm building a metal one, but she does all the wood. Okay. This thing is built strong and it's built to last. It's, it's not two by four. The uh, braces and everything are all, 
You think that's not strong there? <laughs> My bride, her nickname is Killer, and she overdoes everything she does. That's why I married her. All right. Now I'll show you. There's different colors, and you know, and we can change it up. This is just how we build them. You know, the the birds up they roost back in here. And these windows close. If you want to stop the airflow, they'll close. But see, if you look at the roof, the overhang, everything, we put drip rail on it, all the way around the drip rail. Everything's underneath the eave. You've got to get it out of that Florida rain. Same thing with the nesting box. Like I say, it's inside. Okay. First time Mama goes out there, we've got that half inch square hardware wire. First time Mama goes out there and opens one of them boxes up, and a big old black snake or a moccasin come up out of there, she will retire from the chicken business. That's why that stuff is pretty well all kinds of varmint proof. Uh, we'll open this up and show you here. You can walk up there, set your basket down. Got a little shelf. This one here comes with love bugs, it looks like. Lord, I'm glad that's season. They do have some really nifty ideas nowadays and, and on these latches. I've never seen this before, but these little things slide kind of, you know, as things move over time, it kind of makes it where you can, I can't do it left hand, I'm no good left handed at all. That window closes. Like I say, everything is up under the eaves, see? So it's out of the rain and out of the sun. You know? That board and batten, like I say, that, that board is one inch thick. All three of these are the same coop. I'll put the dimensions down at the bottom. There'll be some more information down there. See, this is this is a piece of that cypress right here. That's one inch thick wood. That'll be there for years and years. We corner brace them. A lot of people want to move their coop around their yard and we're going to show you something that we do that works really good for us and you may want to do with yours you know it's we're not we're not saying this is the only way to go we're saying this is the way we went like i said if we want to take off and go offshore fishing for three days we don't have to worry about our birds you know and a coop is size you can put 15 birds in here, no problem. And if you use the side door and do like we'll show you here in just a minute, like we do, this is a trailer we haul them on. It's hydraulic bed on it. It's got removable fenders. There's some of the girls that want to know exactly what's going on. Is it anything that they can eat? Uh, they would more than glad to be in on that. We use a skid steer with the ball on it on this trailer. And this hydraulic trailer <laughs> makes life a whole lot easier. When you get ready, you leave it hanging off like that. These things weigh close to 1,500 pounds. Uh, you leave it hanging off like that, tilt that trailer, and put that corner down on the ground, and then kind of walk off with it like that. But if you want to haul them yourself, that's not a problem. We get $2.60 a loaded mile to bring them to you. We'll try to set them exactly where you want them and how you want them if you've got a place level. 
if, if it's a rough place to get in I can't get in you've got a four-wheeler we can hook the trailer to the four-wheeler and, and, and try to we try to help you anyway any way we can uh, we enjoy doing what we do and what I was going to show you was on these corners here where they're braced like that if you'll notice right here you see that that's an eight inch lag bolt going across there there's another one comes from the bottom up so these things are lagged together just like that and like that and I don't know any way to make it any stouter than that like I say it's all board and batten see your roof hanging over there it keeps it out of that rain and that sun and that chicken coop's just like me and you. If you can stay out of that rain, that sun, you can survive a whole lot longer. You know? But they're real nice coops. You know? They're, they're not made cheap, but they're made good. And like I say, there's no, there's no Chinese involved in this. You know? We, you, you, I tell people my whole life, you know, you can't put cheap in front of good. You get it as good as you can, as cheap as you can, but cheap will cost you a fortune all, every time. You know, we uh, stain them or, or, or solid color them, and, and the only products we use is it's called Flood, and you, I'll show you why we use them. Right there's why we use them. 25 years, 10 years on deck, because it's flat against the sun. But that's all we use. It's high dollar, sixty dollars a gallon. I can buy the Rural King, the other stuff, for nineteen dollars a gallon. You know, it. Uh, that's the kind of wood we use. It's severe. And and you know the girls all want a choice in color. And, and we try to, you know, do what everybody wants, you know, something that'll match your house or match your barn, you know. Right. I'm going to walk you over here and show you the way we do ours. And, and, and like I say, people, you know, they'll, they'll say you want them to drag it through the yard, you know, but, but there's a better way to do that. This here is our setup. You see that fence around there? Goes around the coop. Okay. Well, you let them go right there for a little bit. You know, it's kind of like rotating your cows in the pasture. Let them peck and scratch there for two or three months. And then with that side door, you can change your direction. You can just come straight out with a little walkway and run your fence out here which they've already, we've already done. You can see how it's packed clean, so we moved it over here. Then if you want, when three more months, you can go back the other way and put it over there. And this works really good. And like I say, if we're gonna be gone, we just don't open that door and the girls are fine in the house. I'll show you the inside of ours and, and why we don't want a floor it is it's, it's just a whole lot of maintenance. You know, uh, a lot of the folks put it on, uh, they've got linoleum. I think the girls are wor at work, yeah. One of the girls are in there at work right now. Are you laying me an egg? Good girl, okay. Well, what we do, is leave it open like that. And with it open like that, you put that sawdust down there and every couple months go in there and rake it up and put fresh sawdust down. Plus, they love to scratch in there, okay? But if you put a floor in there, what are you gonna have underneath your linoleum is probably plywood. And that is not gonna last in the Florida weather. Let's see. They come out that door right there if we want to keep them pinned up. 
got a nice run area or you can build another one of these and hook it on there and have an enclosed run full time it's whatever you want that you're not locked into this you know she'll build you whatever you want and how you want it because it's your chicken coop you know we're just trying to give you some ideas of what we do you know and uh, if you got some questions thoughts or ideas or concerns shoot us an email we are i'm almost 70 years old My wife's a whole lot younger and better looking than i am and we we don't pay much attention to our phones uh, i think people pay way too much attention to their phones but if you if you have something you want to know something or you want something built shoot us an email we will answer your email or shoot us your phone number in an email we will call you and contact you either that probably that same day if not it'll be early the next morning and we'll try to help you any way we can folks i thank you for your time uh, like i said we'll we'll put a product description down below and 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 an email to get a hold of us and if you got any questions give us a holler thank you and have a good day